मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर जेनेरिक डिग्रीज आर जस्ट गोइंग विद बाहर जाना है जिस मुझे भेजो आप बताओ नहीं होगा फिर जो आप रिसर्च नहीं करोगे तो नहीं होगा नाउ यू हैव ऑल दिस जॉब डेटा राइट विच डू मीन हॉटेस्ट डेटा साइंस ए आई एम एल हॉटेस्ट हॉटेस्ट इट्स लिटरली लुक एट द जॉब वी ओनली पोस्ट रोल्स फ्रॉम दोज कंपनीज दैट हैव अ लाइसेंस have a graduate job pay a certain salary and will and the best part is it's absolutely free i think we've covered a lot of spectrum of questions around you yeah. know what is working for the students yeah. what is not working the reasons behind it london and outside yeah. which kind of job opportunities you've spoken about some of the few most popular job domains yeah. that we talk about and also how student circus has been helping absolutely. the student community absolutely. if you are looking to study abroad then watch this full video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated so when you are now thinking of now you have all this job data right yeah. vacancies yeah. data which domains are the ones you feel the hottest data uh, science hot ai ml okay. hottest hottest it's literally look at the jobs salary is also very very good and it's a skill shortage in this country do not forget skill shortage in this country engineering is a skill shortage in the uk and this is where you can get good jobs highly paid jobs as well but again competition is very high i last evening a friend of mine has done data science undergrad and masters very good from southeast asia and and basically they were telling me how they are applying for jobs since the last 8 months and they've not gotten the right one obviously they are applying for jobs that are extremely extremely high paid and in larger companies but the struggle is real right they're getting through to the final stages but not getting it for some reason etc but there are jobs available that is also a very good thing paying a good salary so data science is such a skill shortage that people want people can't find jobs but there is data can't skill people, shortage uh, at the same time people are not able to get the job so no so the problem is that it's not you know something or the other thing happens right english language skills they might not have the exact technology learning that they have for example so there are reasons why people are not getting jobs it's so, not so you are saying there's enough opportunity to Correct. to go through 100% uh, what do you think about accounting as a career in the uk do you find that there are a lot of accounting job job openings but how many of them will sponsor that is the question you do have companies who sponsor big four also they sponsor but not for all jobs in all locations right so again we're looking at the if a lot of people make this mistake so you will see a lot of jobs but compare that to the number of job seekers so the ratio is much lesser compared to some something like a data science where there are a lot of jobs but the number of job seekers also less i have done management as a part of my degree in management i had to do certain courses which gave me a free pass to do an ac acca or a cma degree in a accelerated format correct so if i would give him some exams in one year i could have been, become a cma professional or acca say for in two years but i can't become a data science professional i don't know ai because i've not done basics of engineering you right. see so the number of job seekers who can do certain data science and ai stuff is much lesser compared to students who can actually go into accounting cfa mein abhi bhi kar sakta hu hmm. that is the difference so the and number of jobs your, is greater what is your take on studying marketing and jobs related to marketing so people are getting jobs there are jobs available but the number of people who are studying marketing business management i've done management myself it's jack of all masters of none degree which is fine which is all okay but again a lot of students who are studying you know international business who are studying marketing management you know a lot of students come in and tell me i want a job in business are what is a job in business business kya hota hai there's nothing there's no job in business there's a job in accounting there's a job in marketing there's a job in operation there's a job in sales there's no job in business right so i think that's where we also find that you know as i speak to so many students that these students who are doing these generic degrees yeah. end up in a lot of confusion confusion because they don't really have a specialization and marketing is the easiest specialization easiest specialization to take yeah but i found students who are doing marketing analytics some specialization in digital marketing in communication digital communication digital content creation the students who are design management those are some of the students who have been actually because they have a certain deep specific skill i found them to be more employable just purely looking at data on indeed we find that there are about 7000 job postings whereas for data science there were around 7000 postings for marketing whereas around only 2000 
for uh, for data science so not everyone will post data science jobs on indeed because indeed is a very generic job spot it's not for graduates you get a barista cleaner all of that on indeed data science you'll see on linkedin linkedin and specific job search platforms for example that's point number 1 point number 2 when you look at you know marketing for example you know i would say linkedin is a good generic thing but not all of them will be graduate jobs not all of them will be graduate level they'll be like a marketing coordinator for example or a marketing assistant or a short term marketing contract for example social media admin don't go with the indeed data that's my two cents for international students secondly when it comes to your point of students who are doing specific degrees such as digital marketing analytics for example it goes back to the very first point that we made in the web, uh, podcast today which is are you doing your research students who are taking degrees or high proportion of students who are going for specific degrees like marketing analytics are so switched on that they have gone to the study abroad council and said i want to do only this degree and this is the university i want to go to because they've done their research this is what i want to do because this is what i want to work in these are the type of companies out they the, the reason why these people will get jobs is because they've already done their research before studying abroad on what they want to do going forward most of the students who are doing generic degrees are just going with bahar jana hai just mujhe bhejo aap batao nahi hoga fir jo aap research nahi karoge to nahi hoga at the end of the day so that is the problem look i did management I know it's a generic degree, and you can, you know, abuse me how much ever it is. But when I applied to study in the UK, I applied to five different universities for five different degrees. Right. One of which was environmental management. I love two of the degrees I applied for was environmental management. I got both, and I got scholarships also in both universities. One was in extractive industries, and one was an MA in environmental analysis. The reason why I chose management, I got marketing also in another university. but the reason why i chose management was the fact that after talking to my cousin who studied at lse prior to this and you know just having a discussion was the fact that 10 years back i'm not saying environment wasn't a big thing it was right. a big thing but the scope and everything so when my cousin told me that oh you know what if you do a management you will have more options it's not that i didn't do my research right. i just went with something that i didn't i, I personally wasn't sure what i wanted what to do. do and that management degree is helping me in my business right now because then i've chosen to start my own business right but if i done environmental management it would be more different absolutely so that was the rationale but if i just gone and said acha management mein jao then it would not be useful <laughs> in anything right no i think that's that's very very relevant and valuable yeah. and so guys let's take a small pause and let me tell you that i counsel hundreds of students looking to study abroad every month and i am here to help you guys not just with understanding your profile which country or university is the best one for you but help you through the admission process and me and my team will get you your visa on time and if you want a one on one counseling session with me please go into the description there is a link to my calendly and you can book a one on one slot with me and let's get back to our video now as part of student circus yes. you know you are guiding through your platform thousands and tens of thousands of students 200000 200000 yeah. students now what do you believe is like the most impactful part of student circus which is like the most utilized feature on your platform there are multiple but obviously the job spot because on student circus i'll tell you what we have the biggest the biggest usp is that we have a job spot that's specific to international students where students can find internships placements and visa sponsored graduate jobs from those employers that not only can hire you but actually want to hire you now that last sentence is the most important why there are about 120000 companies in the uk having a visa sponsorship license a company needs to have a visa sponsorship license if it has to sponsor an employee's work visa if you don't have a license you can't sponsor currently there are about 120000 companies that have a visa sponsorship license but when you dissect that list you have a lot of restaurants hospitality churches football clubs cricket clubs etc you have a lot of companies that will have a license but may not may have ceased operations you have a lot of companies that will have a license may have taken it for hiring their ceo last year but might might not have any jobs you might have a lot of companies that might have jobs but not graduate level and then you might have a lot of companies that might have jobs might be graduate level but might not pay a certain salary and then you might have companies that might have a graduate job that will have jobs graduate level pay a salary but choose not to sponsor so it's a mind it's it's a world in itself right what we do at student circus is we only post roles from those companies that have a license have a graduate job pay a certain salary and will 
will be open to considering applications of international students who have selected which means sponsor a work visa so that is what we have and the best part is it's absolutely free fre for all students and alumni we don't charge anything for anyone and this is of course authorized by the universities, universities across so it is supported and you know kind of provided to the Absolute. students officially officially, officially from officially. them so i think that's also very important because that gives a lot of credibility Absolutely. and validation to the information being shared uh, we have a visa information section called the immigration guide where we partnered up with one of the largest law firms in the country called pennington's manchester school now the reason why we added that on is a lot of students only rely on you know the post study work visa or the skilled worker visa. That's the only two visas that anyone will talk to you about. And even that, they don't know the details of those visas. So, you know, it's all through hearsay or social media. No, it's always important to know it from the real professionals. Experts. Yeah. So if you go on social media, and I kid you not, a lot of the people talking about visas are not regulated by the government and are giving incorrect or outdated information. Yes. So as a student, if I'm seeing that and I take a decision based on that, remember, if you take a wrong decision that will breach your visa condition, you're done. Yeah, absolutely. So you need to go to a legal professional to get the right advice. Students don't have that money. money. So we've partnered with a student law firm, a law firm which can support students in that way. So we're giving them access not just to information about these two visas, but also other visa rules. As an Indian student, apart from the skilled worker and the graduate immigration rule, which is called the post-study work visa, you have many other visa options you can consider. For example, Scale Up, India Young Professional Scheme. If you are a South Asian student, you have the Youth Mobility Scheme. You have the Innovator Founder Visa for entrepreneurs. You have the Global Talent Visa. There's so many visa options available that we're even providing information for that. So I think uh, it is about how do you manage your status in the UK at the same Absolute. time, of course, cutting the clutter out and providing the right kind authentic of you know, authentic job opportunity. One stop are, shop for that. Plus, we have a lot of information and guidance through videos, worksheets, quizzes, blogs, news articles from experts. So right. careers consultants, employers and successful international students who've gotten jobs in the UK guiding current students with the UK job search market and how to go about them. I think we've covered a lot of spectrum of questions around, you yeah. know, what is working for the students, yeah. what is not working, the reasons behind it, London and outside, yeah. which kind of job opportunities. You've spoken about some of the few most popular job domains yeah. that we talk about and also how Student Circus has been helping Absolutely. the student community. Absolutely. So I think it's been a really great day, Dhruv. Thank and you. thanks for really spending this time for us and for all the students. Thank we you. really want everyone to pay a visit to Student Circus. Okay. Check them out. Start using it even before you get to school. It's free. Familiarize. It's free. <laughs> even if it was paid, pay for it. No, uh, it's not paid. But, but start doing that research early. If you're coming in September, start now. If you're going to be in January, then start now. So yeah. there's never a later date. Better. No, and, and just to end the, the podcast today, thank you so much. Yeah. You know, you made the trip from India to London yeah. and you're doing this hard work yeah. of talking to students, coming here, reaching out to us, talking to us. I think that just goes to showcase both Piyush yourself and admit card, the kind of foundation that you're building your company, your business on. I think you have your heart in the right place, which in an education industry is super important for all. You just taking that investment of time and money to kind of come here and talk to students just goes to showcase that, you know, students should make the right decision, both whilst choosing the study abroad partner, the university and, you know, jobs are support. No, so fantastic. Thank you, everyone. I think Thank you. if you've really learned something today, you've enjoyed our, our conversation, then do subscribe to our channel. And we look forward to sharing more such valuable Absolutely. information Absolutely. if you want to study abroad and make your career in anywhere around the world. So thank you so much and see thank you in the you. next video. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you. thank you so much. So if you like this content, please subscribe to our channel and I will see you all in the next video.